friends welcome back to my channel if you're new here karibu sana so today as you can see the title below we are going to do uh the pros and cons of being a muslim daughter in a family of male or just being the only muslim daughter in a family yeah because it's something that i've been thinking about for so long like um, mm, why do they expect so much of me and at times they feel advantageous so i hate to do both the two cons and pros yeah so <laughs> Okay, I'm so happy to do this. So if you're new here to this channel, my name is Sophia Fadil and welcome to this channel. So kindly tell the subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon for you to join this family. And Carol I love you. So the pros and cons of being the only Muslim daughter in a family of many male or in as in just being the only daughter in a family. So personally, I'm the only daughter in a family of two. We are only two siblings, a girl and a boy, and I'm the last born. And I usually think like sometimes my mom, a partner, sometimes I feel like these people expect too much of me. As in they, they expect things that personally I can't do or personally I feel like ah, this is too much. So first, we are going we are going to start with the pros obviously the advantages then we we'll get to the disadvantages the cons so the first advantage of being a muslim daughter in a family of many men it's like you usually give it the first priority when it comes to feminine things or feminine stuffs like when i mean feminine stuffs it's like there are some terms in a family where there is something that only it deals with fe female people are supposed to be there or this okay let's say like it's a gift someone has brought from nowhere and the gift is just garish it's obviously going to be yours or let's say maybe it's a day out your mom wants to go out and he cannot carry the whole group of men so it's gonna be you and your mom just the two of you okay let's say maybe it's like sometimes okay let's say sometimes it's like when it comes to part of sharing stuffs okay that's a point of, it, of its own but let me bring it here when it comes to a moment where people are sharing stuffs and you happen to be the only guy you get it okay it's like you get the bigger part of it because uh obviously you're the only person and your brothers be like just give it to her mom after all she'll just cry <laughs> you get that what i mean you obvious okay that's the advantage obviously advantageous when it comes to sharing stuffs you happen to be loved yeah the love from both okay sometimes it comes from both the brothers and the parents they love you so much because you're the only egg <laughs> that when it breaks they're not gonna get another egg at that time but they're not they're not going to get an egg that is similar to yours and i hope you get the point so the love my friend it's usually on another level it's on another capacity okay as in your love man <laughs> your parents love you your brothers they're like they love you so much okay there is love in a good way and there is that over loved and over loved sometimes it gets boring <laughs> so the third advantage is you get extra support or you get supported like the support that everyone in the family let's say okay you're the only girl after all let's say there are other five boys hmm? maybe you are either apple the third born the fourth born and it's a family of six you just get that extra support like all the brothers will be okay this is my younger sister or this is my sister and I don't want him to go out chasing after men so that he can get money or do this and that. As in everyone gives you that support because they don't expect you to go the, the wrong way. <laughs> to go the wrong way. They all expect you to be like a good woman from the family. Do you understand? Like, you know, girls, they don't want you to go for the shorter way. Mm -hmm. And for them to give you something that's very clothes that you can grab it easily they'll just bring everything for you so 
the support you get from both the parents that is mom and dad and the brothers it's usually awesome and if you're the only girl in a family of no siblings it's also good because like everything is just about you seriously you're the only daughter you're the only guardian daughter in that family what do you expect everything it will be just about you they just know that this is our daughter and we don't want her to miss A, B, C, kids. Like everything is just about you, man. So you should be, you should say, I am there. Like, seriously, I'm so favored. Don't feel favored because you're not done with the disadvantages. Because the disadvantages is that so long compared to the advantages. So the pros, just celebrate with the pros, but the cons, my friend, there are too many. Too many that sometimes you feel like you should kill yourself or you should disown yourself. Not really disown, it's like you disown yourself away from that family. You be your own person. Because, right, let's wait. Your family just ex expect a lot from you. As in, they expect more than you can give. When they tell you that, okay, they, they expect you to be. A girl with no male friends, and that is so difficult. There is no girl with no male friends. You know, I'm a Muslim, and the other Muslim girls, maybe one is watching or two are watching. But the point is, you also need to have male friends. It's friends, I didn't say other friends, male friends. And it depends, after all, it always starts with being friends and it goes to other level. So if you don't have a male friend, who is going to marry you? No one will marry you because you cannot get married to a friend or girl. Or maybe you can. No, the world is evolving. <laughs> so, they expect a lot from you. They like, they, wa they don't want you to have male friends. They don't want you to get pregnant. So, I, they don't want you to go the wrong way. Like, when you party, they'll be like, okay, that's not good, sis. You're not doing the right thing. You remember a Muslim girl. I don't know what and what. They don't expect you to... I think a lot of things. So they expect you to be, I don't know what kind of a person. There is no person in this world who doesn't need time to refresh, who doesn't need time to think about her future at least needs time to go away from the reality and be in another world because that's how being human is you cannot always be like okay what about tomorrow how will it be like okay the mom doesn't want me to get pregnant so i really don't have to god you're gonna die and i'm not telling you to be to get pregnant or i'm not telling you to do what you want to do <laughs> that's not my advice but my you should have friends, both male and women, girls, female, whatever. And you should at least part sometimes, go out, have friends, okay, get away from the reality world and go to your own world. Go out, okay, they, another thing about Muslim girls, another point, is you cannot sleep outside the house. Like when I tell you, you cannot sleep outside the house, you can't. So for almost for our Christians, friends, and other religions, if you can go out of the house, like you tell your mom, okay, mom, I'm going out with a friend, and I'll be back on on maybe you went out on Sunday, and then we'll be back on Wednesday. <laughs> okay, I really don't know how to express, but ma'am. Not in the Muslim world, never. Not anywhere close to being a Muslim lady, daughter, girl, no. You go out during the day and you come back very early. Sometimes even seven should be in the house. Like, where are you? Who are you sleeping with outside the house? Where are you going to sleep? Okay, sometimes you're like, okay, I'm going to sleep to, the, uh, to my auntie's place, but still they don't believe that. So, that's another thing and another con it's like sometimes it affects being the only female in a family it really affects like 
some people they it happens they become tomboys some happens they become lesbians and that's not really for most of them but it happens some become lesbians because they're surrounded with male they all okay they have that male male personality I, I don't know if they'll get to me they have that male personality like they know that everything to deal with life is just male 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 masculinity in them it's on another level do you understand so sometimes it leads to them being tomboys it leads to them being oh, us because <laughs> i'm one of them sometimes sometimes <laughs> what am i saying sometimes it leads to us being lesbians subhanallah I don't want to get to there because hmm, I've never thought of that even one day in life, but it really affects. Because as for me, when I grew up, I used to wear my brother's clothes. Because <laughs> I'm the last one and I used to love male clothes. Like, until now, I do love male clothes. I love baggy clothes and my mom used to dress me with my brother's clothes. Like, okay, take the t-shirt where I take this and just... Now, I used to feel so comfortable, so such things can lead to other things. Another thing, there is a possibility the girl doesn't get married. Like, she doesn't really get married. This is due to either the tomboyish in her, or the lesbianism in her, or rather the too much care from the family, too much protection that the girl doesn't allow, is not allowed to socialize with the mass, with the male, the male gender. So this is so bad and this, there are many cons of being a Muslim lady or daughter of a family and not only a Muslim daughter, even in other religions, it's usually the same. And another thing, a Muslim daughter is always the maid of the family. Yeah, like Tina, when it comes to a part that you are the last born or you are the last bonds, either the second last born or whatever, and it doesn't matter even if you are the first one and you are a lady, you are the maid of the family. Because your mom cannot do that. Who else is going to do that work? It's you, mom. It's you, madam. You're going to do that work on your own. So it happens we become the maids of the family. I've been the maid of my family till now when i go home i'm just the maid of the family okay it's like i'm used to the situation because i can't go out of that family or i can't go search for another family that's my family <laughs> and that's where i belong so um it happens that you become the maid of the family you get bored it's obviously get bored because they usually know that cleaning ladies washing ladies Laundry, ladies, cooking, ladies, everything, ladies. So, what is that? Who said men shouldn't wash? Who said men shouldn't do their own laundry for God's sake? That's other thing. Okay, and in Muslim community, I don't know whether it still continues. Another con is that a lady is, okay, the husband who is going to marry her will be chosen. By the parents that's another thing so a man from nowhere for god's sake comes and be your wife and you have that your boyfriend that you've always been chatting with you don't want your parents to know your, your brothers and you've promised each other's eternity heaven life after here paradise and what happens next next is you are brought for a husband sometimes it even becomes to be like what is it called like grown ass men like a person who can give birth to you for god's sex can give birth to you and even to your siblings then someone tells you that this is your husband that's why I'm not going to speak that, but that is why most of Muslim ladies don't stay in the marriage. They don't stay in the marriage for so long because you're giving for a person that you never loved. You never loved that man. Okay, they expect you to love the man, 
as you continue to live with him. So what is that? That's another thing. Another thing is another con for God's sake. Another con is Muslim religious 